So the Solomon X-T6 in black and Lunar Rock. So sizing, I would definitely say stick true to size. The sneaker does fit a little bit long and I do get a little bit of heel slip going true to size, but I will say that it also runs pretty narrow. So going down half a size to mitigate that heel slip might result in kind of an uncomfortable, super tight fit. For reference, I'm a true size eight my foot is about 26 centimeters from heel to toe, and in the sneaker in my true size, there's still about a half inch to an inch of space in the front of the sneaker, and there just isn't quite enough heel padding at the rear of the sneaker either, and it's just unfortunate that you do get a little bit of heel slip with this sneaker, even when it's laced as tight as you could possibly lace it. So if I were to compare the fit, I'd probably say it's probably closest to a New Balance 990 V3. Both sneaker silhouettes, they run a little bit long and a little bit narrow, so in either case, because I'm a true size eight, with a slightly wider foot, I would say true to size is probably your best bet. If you do have a more narrow foot, I would say you could probably get away with going down a half size, but if you have a normal to wider foot, I would say don't take the chance and I would recommend true to size. So details on this sneaker. So the Solomon XT6 in black and Lunar Rock. This is such a cool sneaker and I don't know why I hesitated on expanding out to Solomon for so long. I love utility based sneakers and this is definitely very utility based. If anything, the entire design language of the sneaker is based on utility, functionality, and durability. So again, I'm a sucker for sneaker boots and this is definitely built like a sneaker boot. But to kick things off, details on the sneaker, all along the upper you can see this base layer is actually a Gore-Tex material with a very cool hexagonal pattern. And according to their website, this is abrasion resistant. I can't really confirm that because I'm not going to take these trail running, but it does seem pretty durable for kind of a mesh waterproof material. And really quick, even though this colorway in black and lunar rock has a Gore-Tex upper, not all XT6s use Gore-Tex on the upper, so not all XT T6s are waterproof. So just keep that in mind when you are shopping for a pair of Solomon XT6s. Only a few of the colorways are actually Gore-Tex and waterproof. So along with that Gore-Tex base on the upper, you also have this TPU overlay that covers pretty much all around the sneaker. And that's where you can find kind of that iconic Solomon branding in gray on the heel counter at the lateral side of the sneaker. And you can see that that TPU overlay kind of wraps around the upper of the sneaker in that iconic design as well, where it kind of meets the lace loops of the sneaker. Along with that, that TPU overlay also wraps around the entire toe cap of the sneaker. That's where you can see kind of the Gore-Tex branding as well. And I think that's where a lot of the durability for the design of the sneaker kind of comes into play. So if you're wondering what TPU is, it basically stands for thermoplastic polyurethane. Layman's terms, it's a plastic overlay. And on the medial side of the sneaker, you can see there's some SensiFit branding in red along with XC6 for the model, more Gore-Tex branding, and also soft ground branding as well. Not exactly sure what soft ground is, but I think it probably relates to kind of their EVA midsole. But before we get into that, let's cover the last and I think most surprising and coolest feature of the XC6s, which is the quick lacing system. So this feature and design actually caught me entirely off guard because I think one of the main reasons why I held off on Solomon's and in particular the XC6s are so long is just because of that quick lacing system. As you can see, the quick lace is basically not your traditional shoelace. It's pretty much this very thin nylon cable that runs through in place of your traditional sneaker shoelace. And to me, I was just very skeptical about the durability of this lacing system that was so thin and it looked like it could snap at any given moment and just really didn't seem like something that was super durable to me. But having these in hand, I will say that I'm not really afraid of these snapping on me, even when I do lace these up as tight as I need to, to kind of counter that heel slip that I do get. So in addition to kind of me questioning the durability of the lacing system, I also really didn't like the aesthetic that a lot of people had when these were pulled very tight on someone's foot. And you can see when you do pull that lacing system very tight, you do have this very long extended cable along with that cable lock with the Solomon branding. And I think to me, it just led to a very awkward aesthetic. I just really didn't get why people enjoyed having this really long cable sticking out of their sneaker. That kind of leads me to the best feature of the upper and best feature to me on the sneaker model. And that's essentially where the tongue comes into play. So you can see 
you have the tongue with the Solomon branding. Actually draped over that tongue is this stretchy kind of nylon fabric. And the tongue kind of bends down under that. And this is actually where you can place that extended quick lace cable. And that pretty much gives you a very clean aesthetic on this sneaker. And it basically solved all the problems and all the things that I was kind of questioning about the Solomon XT6s. So I like that aesthetic of the hidden quick lace so much more than having that quick lace kind of sticking out and flopping around everywhere. To me, it's just the coolest utility focus feature on this sneaker. I will say though that this is a little bit harder to tuck the quick lace under when you do have your foot in the sneaker just because your foot's going to be pressing against the tongue and you'll pretty much have to stretch out this upper layer of fabric in order to tuck that quick lace under. Not a super big deal. Um, I don't think you'll be able to tuck this lace as cleanly as you can when the sneaker is off foot, but to me, I'm okay with having like a little bit of that loop sticking out because I think it still adds to that utility aesthetic that the sneaker definitely has. So yeah, quick lacing system, one of the biggest surprises, also one of the coolest features to me. But with that, moving on to the midsole of the sneaker, you basically just have an EVA foam midsole. It is pretty comfortable. I've only worn these out about twice, but I will say that the cushioning is probably in between, I would say the 990 V3 from New Balance and also the 2002 R. It's not something that's super firm, but it's also not something that's super squishy either. And I really like that aspect of this sneaker. I do like something that is a bit more of a stable ride. And I think the Solomon XT6 is definitely designed for a more stable ride. And that's not only in the foam of the midsole, but also you can see you have this plastic cage that wraps all the way around the midsole of the sneaker as well. And what that cage does is it definitely ensures that you don't really over pronate when you're stepping. And and pronation means basically overextending your foot when you're bending and walking and overextending your arch to where, I don't know if you've ever had this experience, I hope not, but when your arch overextends, it kind of feels like a tear kind of in the arch of your foot. So that plastic cage definitely prevents any of that from happening. And that plastic cage they actually call ACS, which stands for Agile Chassis System. It's basically just this TPU counter, plastic counter that wraps around the entire midsole that gives you all of that stability that Solomon really designed this sneaker for. Moving on to the outsole, you can see it is this hard rubber lug traction pattern all along the outsole of this sneaker. And this is where you can really see that trail running design that goes along the design language of the entire sneaker. It's definitely the most apparent in the outsole. So this traction pattern is definitely designed for uneven surfaces, for mud, for anything that is in basically the outdoors when you're not running or using these on pavement. And this is also the most aesthetically boot-like feature of the sneaker, and I just really enjoy that design aesthetic. And I also enjoy the utility of having a lug outsole. And if I were to compare kind of this rubber, it is actually a very dense and durable feeling rubber. And if you have the Tom Sachs general purpose shoe, I would probably say that this rubber feels the closest to the outsole of the GPS. So a very durable and hard rubber that it feels like it'll last you a very long time. And last detail on the outsole, you also have this Chevron branding embossed into the outsole along with Contagrip logo in red. And I think Contagrip is basically just the traction pattern of this sneaker. Some more details along the upper, you can see that it is lined all the way around about an inch down from the top of the sneaker, basically ensuring that the entire upper of the sneaker is waterproof. And with that, you also get a very cheap and thin, unfortunate Ortholite insole. It does have Solomon branding on there in red and also Ortholite branding. It's not the worst thing. Actually, it is probably one of the worst insoles in the world, but to me, it didn't really impact the comfort of the sneaker. It was still a very comfortable sneaker because of the foam midsole. So yeah, with that, that's pretty much the Solomon XT6 in black and Lunar Rock. Just a very surprising sneaker to me because I honestly wasn't expecting to like this sneaker so much and it's probably worked its way very quickly into my daily rotation. The utility design, the black and gray utility colorway of this black and lunar rock and the surprise of the quick lacing system, just one of the coolest, I want to say innovative features that I haven't seen on a sneaker in a very long time. Just such a cool sneaker to me. And I know Solomon and XC6s are very trendy and it's starting to work its way from being a cult sneaker into the mainstream. I still think this is a very cool sneaker and I'm very glad that I've hopped onto the Solomon train. So that about does it for me. I do a lot of other sneaker and fashion content. So if you're interested, check out those other videos. And as always, a like and a sub go a long way. Thanks for checking this one out. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.